Queen needs to strip Prince Harry and Prince Andrew of their roles as councillors of state to ensure the smooth running of the monarchy in her absence, a royal expert insisted. The Queen has been urged to review Prince Harry and Prince Andrew's position in her Council of State following their removal from official duties. The Duke of Sussex stepped down alongside wife Meghan Markle in 2020 to pursue a life outside of the royal family while the Duke of York was forced into early retirement due to the backlash over his legal woes. While neither is officially serving on behalf of Her Majesty anymore, they are still believed to be holding the title of Councillor of State, leaving them entitled to carrying out duties for Queen in case of her absence or illness. The debate over Harry and Andrew's position was reignited after Buckingham Palace announced the Prince of Wales and the Duke of Cambridge will be undertaking several tours in the coming months to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. In March, both royals will be away from the UK for at least one day as Prince Charles visits Ireland and Prince William is in the Bahamas. Speaking to Palace Confidential, editor Richard Eden said, Charles would be in Ireland so, obviously, he could come back in an emergency. But the fact is, Prince Andrew or Prince Harry, as the law stands, would have to step in and that's not right. That needs to be changed. He claimed the palace had so far avoided breaching the subject with Prince Harry about his role to avoid poking the bear at a time when relations between the Duke and the royal family remain tentative. Mr. Eden added, we had Robert Hardman on the program recently and he was basically arguing they don't want to cause any offence. They don't want to poke the bear of Prince Harry but this is beyond that. It's the law, this is serious. Columnist Sarah Vine also added both Prince Andrew and Prince Harry no longer meet the requirements to serve as councillors of state. She said, you just need to take them off the rota. Take Andrew off the rota because, Andrew. And they need to take Harry off the rota because he's not in the country and he's not resident here even though he still got Frogmore. Indeed, the Duke of Sussex confirmed he and his family will not be returning to the UK next month to attend a memorial service in honour of Prince Philip. Royal commentator Omid Scobie claimed a spokesperson for Harry and Meghan had confirmed they would not travel to the UK but the Duke would be visiting the Queen soon. Mr Scobie wrote on Twitter, a spokesperson for the Sussexes confirms that Prince Harry will not be returning to the UK for the service of thanksgiving for the life of Prince Philip on March 29. He does, however, hope to visit the Queen as soon as possible. BBC royal reporter Sarah Campbell later corroborated the report, reiterating the Duke of Sussex is eager to see the Queen, whom he had not met in person since July 2021. Harry is currently embroiled in a legal fight with the Home Office over their refusal to provide him with the same degree as when still a working royal during his visits to the UK. The British media called Harry the party prince when he was young. But the prince left his party boy ways behind after serving in the military, and in 2014 he started the Invictus Games. The international competition for injured ex-service personnel has grown over the years, holding the Games in London, Toronto, Orlando, and Sydney. The Invictus Games will be held at The Hague in the Netherlands from April 16 to the 22nd. The 2020 Games were postponed to 2022 because of the pandemic. The Duke of Sussex has received flack for his decision that he will not be returning to the UK later this month to attend the memorial marking the passing of the Duke of Edinburgh, but will reportedly head to The Hague for the Invictus Games in April. Reportedly head to the